live from the southwest corner of Austin, where we are all fully erect and rock hard, you know, like Bonnie's art, it's gonna be a great night. Now, cheer like Bryce, who took a gap year at Abu Ghraib, because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Go. <laughs> Ha 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 Yo, 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 what's going on? Yo, hey, yo, uh, 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 what's, what's popping? Uh, man, I woke up this morning, my voice, strong, (laughs) my voice is strong, (laughs) strong, like somebody who would betray someone. Yeah. Strong, the strongest voice on the show. If anyone likes. To challenge me, I say, have a go. I can go high, even falsetto, or so very low. What a low blow. (laughs) How's your voice? (laughs) I decided (laughs) to try to be a good teammate in between the green room and now uh-huh. and say that uh, I told Brian earlier in the day that my throat was feeling fucked up. Yeah, mine was too. Uh, and he's like, oh, man, me too, man. <laughs> totally. Me too. I got a really fucked up throat. Uh, yeah. man. What what brothers we are. Yeah. That we both have <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucked up throats. So We're then throat after, bros. Doing, after doing the great uh, the, the great, great room, room, I was like, hey, guys, not in, serious, not a joke. Non-zero <laughs> chance my voice might go out during the live show. Yeah. And that's how Brian decides to open. <laughs> the trio! I mean, is is it really like what the what the server decides to bring you when you order it from the menu? <laughs> I mean, it's uh, I, I have no choice. I, you have no choice. I, I have no choice. No choice. No choice. The entire universe worth of topics and the and and the one thing you need to do is challenge me to get me excited so I yell louder. Like oh, no no no. I mean, it's like it's like uh, it's like when the hypnotist says try to not think of an elephant. Well, and it's yes, like, on stage. Yeah. Well, where not are we? Behind. Not, oh. not like if I was like if I was the hypnotist and I was talking to them just behind the, sta- the stage and I was like, oh hey, by the way, uh, uh, your wife is cheating on you, <laughs> and like and then that, that's not the first thing you're gonna bring up on stage. <laughs> hey Bryce, do we have a first topic? Uh-oh, we do have me. a first topic. Fuck me. <laughs> Karaoke heat and set some stuff. Oh, you know what? I need my I need my phone. Uh, Andrew Heaton is not going to be on this show for the next 10 weeks. Is in time, time out? No, because he's doing a improv class on Tuesday nights. So he has, he has explained that he's not going to be here for several weeks, which means that I can't just wait for him to tell these stories. I'm just going to have to tell these stories. Uh, Heaton comes over on, on Friday and we're, uh, singing karaoke you ever sang karaoke with Andrew Heaton? Not with him, but I would love to. So, uh, first things first, he has a musical theater baritone. It, that uh, is baritone is a is a low one. Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, Your voice sounds. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is too, too soon. This too, is too soon. Bullying. Too soon. This is okay. Just all right. I, all right. Like, I, like, I withdraw. I, show, I withdraw. I, one, I withdraw. One, one, I withdraw. One I withdraw. I withdraw. I withdraw. No, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we can just rip. Let's, let's just shred my. Voice. Nope. 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 Let's nope, keep nope. thinking about all it. Right, here we go. <laughs> shouting contest. Nope. You want to do a shouting contest? <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. I'm going to give my best. Yell the loudest. Fucking asshole. I wanted a shouting contest. What you fucking wanted. Uh, but but uh, he has he has a, a, a rich. Yeah, I'm anyway, Andrew Heaton. So he he uh, uh, two things very funny. Uh, uh, a I do a uh, Kanye West all falls down, and 
uh, he just, it's over. And he says, oh, that's Kanye West? To, to be fair, I would say the same thing. Have you, can you think of another Kanye West song? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Kanye. I'm Kanye West. <laughs> That's a callback to the pre-show bit. Uh, I, I, I really can't. Actually. Gold Digger. Yeah, outside of that. Okay. I, I got That's nothing. the Kanye American West song yeah. that you would have yeah. heard. Flashing lights. Yeah. Right. Because the next thing he says is, I don't think I've heard a song from Kanye. Uh, okay. And then, I quite like it. <laughs> there we go. That was the first funny thing they said. The second funny thing was he does Wagon Wheel. Uh, uh, which is a, a popular country song by Darius Rucker. And then afterward, I do I Only Want to Be With You by Hootie and the Blowfish. And he's like, because uh, uh, I was like, all right, well, if you did that, I'm going to do this. And uh, he goes, uh, like, uh, I sing the song. He's like, uh, question, why did you sing that song after a Darius Rucker song? No. And I'm like, uh, he... Darius Rucker is Hootie. They are they are one and the same. Shocked, mind blown, can't even uh, uh, comprehend. He's like, I, I I thought he was a country artist, and and now I find out that he's Hootie from Hootie and the Boat. Oh my God! Looks now him up, and here's the kicker. And this because he tweeted this part that he immediately <laughs> tweeted out. What he did not tweet out was the kicker. And he's black. <laughs> <laughs> How can you do that? He's, Has anybody he heard? lives in Toontown. I don't know where he grew up. I don't what? know what he does when I'm not seeing him. Like what? he's just like making anvils at the Acme factory <laughs> when he's not in our sights. He goes through the tunnel and there's you know uh, a thumper rabbit or whatever. Uh, I, 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 uh, boy, what a, what a, what a, what a white name Darius Rucker is. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, you know, Hootie and the Blowfish was in the music video era. Like, like, like very, you very saw pictures famous, of him. Yeah. He very, only wants to be with you. Only want to be with you. All right, Bryce, next topic. Our right, next topic is Sushi Dinner Saga. Oh boy. Uh, so I, I'm going to hand off at some point. Uh, first of all, uh, 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 with all love and respect, let me explain. Bonnie and I are old. Yes. And, uh, and, and we were so old that it was difficult to leave at 7 p.m. Yes. To go out for the beginning of an evening. Yeah. That was going to end up at our 930 reservation. Yes. 9.30 reservation. Can we give context on why this was happening? Oh, it was a celebratory dinner. Yes. It was a celebratory dinner for uh, World's Greatest Con Season 2. Uh, the other writer-editor who worked on Season 2, Will Saddleberg, was down from Buffalo. And so we were all doing a thing. We wanted to go to this restaurant, Uchi. Uh, Super exclusive. Which is, it's hard to get a reservation. Yep. We were luckily able to do it, but it had to be later at night. We share your 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 uh issues in terms of like we aren't normally in bed literally by 9 30 like uh so that was a late thing but it, we wanted to impress will and his girlfriend who was in town as well and so we we decided to do uchi at 9 30 uh which uh, it was delightful everything about the place was delightful uh but but it's like bonnie and i are mustering up our energy it's like ah we are gonna do it we're gonna go celebrate with award-winning best in class the best sushi that austin has to offer uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh let's go and so uh we go and uh, uh first of all one of the greatest things ever happens which is we get id'd by uh by a a, a self-professed lurker uh, somebody not in chat but who recognized us and flashed the diamond club symbol as, to us. as we were waiting to get to our our table uh which by the way and this matters for the story uh took another 45 minutes past 9 30 for us to actually sit down what? Uh, but uh uh there as we're walking we get somebody saying like brian and justin and then they flash us the diamond club symbol it was very very cool to get to get noticed it was it was completely awesome and uh so so we get seated and um i know that this is one of those family style things it's now been long enough that that 
Mm, I know exactly what I want. And so I, I, I have to come back from the restroom right as the, also, the server's is it, there. Is it safe to say, I don't want to say picky, but you are a specific eater in terms of like, you don't, you're not an adventurous eater. Would that be safe to say? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, nowadays, yes. Yeah. Now, nowadays, I want to keep it simple. Don't want to mess stuff you, up. Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've talked about how with anxiety has come belly issues and stuff. And, and I'm trying to, trying to, trying to keep it simple. You don't, you don't want to screw nothing up. Barley that, that hops, be, yeast, that need maybe to be screwed up. miscellaneous. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, so Uchi is designed to be one of those places where everybody orders one or two things off the menu. It all comes to the table at varying different times. So you're just constantly eating. You're constantly drinking the entire time. Uh, Brian says to the waitress, uh, I want two pieces of tuna. I understand that one order is two pieces of Negro. Yeah. Uh, I would like the fatty tuna or whatever kind of tuna you want. That's all I want. I don't want to do any sharing of any variety. And then I realized. I don't think you said that last part. Uh, uh, I think you just said, I only want the two pieces of tuna. And, sure. And assume that that was the rest, which I, I can, you can get, you can sure. get. But but yeah. also on top of that, I already feel bad because uh, it's very clear instantly that nobody's ordered yet. And I walked in thinking I was late to the ordering party. So instead, I just leapt out and be like, I only want one thing and it's oh, two pieces oh, of tuna. Yes, <laughs> exactly. No, uh, she was doing like an introduction <laughs> of like how things work and was like explaining to everybody the menu. <laughs> and, and meanwhile, he was like, like, does anybody? No, he's like, she's like, does anybody have any questions? And Brian's like, two pieces of tuna. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all I want. Uh, we're ordering, right? <laughs> I only want two pieces of tuna. And she's like, okay. So on the back is the alcohol. <laughs> uh, so Brian puts in his order uh, and everybody else puts in their orders. And as is the, you know, how the restaurant works, the food starts coming out. The more food comes out. And then, then, then more like food comes out. Then like more apology food foods out. come out that are like, uh, Hey, we know you guys have been waiting for a while. Here's some other food. That's more not food. two pieces not, of tuna. Not, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, not tuna. Here's and some now, other and stuff. Now, meanwhile, you have already locked in. Like I'm not snacking on, anything else i'm not endangering my tummy yep. like i am i am only eating yep these two pieces of tuna but meanwhile it can't feel great while everybody else is constantly eating just a a a, a conveyor belt of, of food <laughs> and you are not getting your 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 two pieces of tuna to my credit i was on super good behavior drink drinking my water and 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 actually uh, uh body <laughs> Uh, like, drink, you and drinking I, your water and 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 siphoning, taking taking the troll toll off my Sapporo. That's right, <laughs> your your light beer, which Bonnie apparently thought was sake the entire time. So it's like I'm having one third of your light beer, and Bonnie's like, "So I guess we're getting an Uber tonight." Yeah. <laughs> and I'm no, like, Bonnie, we, "We can, sweetie. I don't know." Two times I see this where <laughs> Brian Brian comes over and gives me the like, you know, and and Brett, you know this from going to conventions. Like at a certain point especially if you are in a situation where you're, you're around people that you don't know your crew, you have to develop certain like nonverbal communication. Yep. And so Brian comes over to me when we're still waiting for the waiting for the table and just goes like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> like, like two shoulder shrugs and like a head nod. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to need another glass. Like, <laughs> so I can half pour my beer for Brian because I just know that that is, that's, that's the move. Sure. And so that just continues to happen. But two times, both of them were waiting. And then we're at the table. Bonnie's like, so I guess we're getting a taxi, huh? <laughs> and, and the first time Brian's like, no, I, I think we should be fine. And she's like, okay, fucking John Wayne over here. Uh, and then the second time she's like, I think we're definitely getting a taxi. It's like, this is less alcoholic than Miller Light. Like, this is like light Sapporo. Uh, Wait, you do not she, have to worry. To her credit, she self-busts. Like, she she catches you revealing it with the Sapporo and realizes what's happening. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, but uh, uh, at any rate, I, I thought I was keeping my cool, but what busted me was I, I locked eyes with Ashley at one moment, and I just saw Ashley has the one of the best tight smiles I've ever seen, where it's just like, like and all of a sudden i realized oh fuck she knows that i know 
that this has been a long time since long I said I wanted tuna. just two pieces of tuna. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and well, I don't think anybody else knew that you weren't going to eat anything. And that's why I don't think that you that you made it clear is because everybody else is kind of waiting like, right. well, at some point, maybe Brian doesn't like this. Right. But I like this. But I like this. But I like this. <laughs> but I like this. But I like this. And then like the restaurant is like, like, oh, I don't know, free this. And Brian's like, well, two pieces of tuna. Two, pieces, it, of two tuna. pieces of tuna. It's not okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I presented very politely. I was just like, oh, this looks great. Everybody dive in. And then, uh, and then, and then I would intentionally not look at Ashley until finally I would establish eye contact and get the tight smile. And then there was this quiet moment. I was like. It got funny five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so at that point, then it becomes a question of like, all right, so now we have to lean on them to get these fucking pieces of tuna out because like this man is starving. If, if it were, were up to me, we would never have leaned. But 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 uh, uh, but at some point, I'm sorry. No, that's what I need. I need it. I, I was like, no, we're not. We're not having Brian to sit here without his fucking tuna. And so it, like, and also it's like, like they just need to know because they are a service oriented restaurant. It's right. like, hey, this guy is not going to eat anything else. He's literally only going to eat these pieces of tuna. Can we get the man his fucking tuna? Yeah. 12.07 a.m. 12.07. I got two pieces of tuna. The best part was everybody in the moment they took to lean their head back and laugh, when they looked me in the eye, the tuna was already gone. And I said, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I would have... I don't know what I you have more patience. You're a saint. Yeah. This is your sainthood. You've been you are saint you are saint. Uh, brush uh, uh, yes, but I also was the asshole who boasted about his strong voice only two minutes ago. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, hey, no, you don't redemption. Redemption. Saint, Saint, so here's the deal. Uh, oh, shit, I forgot about this part. We're driving on the way back, <laughs> and Ashley makes a joke. I need to make it real, and I text Brian uh, this audio clip that uh, I made for him uh, uh, when he got home. Just might be the world's slowest tuna. <laughs> Slayed me. <laughs> oh, and you put you put the twinkle music out. Of course, afterwards. I got the Just. twinkle music. <laughs> This episode of World's Slowest Tuna brought to you by, <laughs> by Puffy. Yeah. <laughs> Puffy. Puffy Magazine. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, and then I think we have another topic like this after this. World's Ghostiest Cup. Ghost, I. Uh, you don't remember that? We had another world's greatest con thing. Yeah, that's it. You're thinking yeah. of it. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I, I was hoping that the uh, title <laughs> would, I don't know, remind me of what the topic I mean, was. Unfortunately, the only thing that's coming to mind is the one person during the AMA who found out my brother had passed <laughs> oh. during the AMA. <laughs> so, what, what was the? Uh... <laughs> uh, so we've got here uh let's see oh oh, I oh, oh uh, the the video the, vi the modern rogue video modern rogue video here there's oh little, yeah, yeah. Fun, okay okay yeah. okay 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 so uh so <laughs> uh, uh so number one uh, season two of world's greatest con is now out the first season <laughs> is uh begun you can go download it right now uh uh largest 24-hour launch that we have ever had for anything on world's greatest con thank you everybody for that wait wait there it is there it is there's the ghost so <laughs> <laughs> but part of our launch part of our launch was what brian well we did a, we did a live premiere of of the real to real uh of a video with the full audio of the hour plus presentation this is while i'm doing the ama so there's kind of like two parties that i'm trying to, to mitigate all day yesterday uh one is answering questions on reddit the others keeping the chat alive or whatever and then all of a sudden in there uh i see john pop in to say oh crap eight minutes from now you're gonna see something there's a 
the uh, there's a man behind that curtain, <laughs> and I'm like, well, I don't know what that is. And then uh, that and the story you just heard it, is dramatized. How would you describe what we're seeing so right what, here? What, what you realize is that, uh, uh, and number one, everybody go watch it. If you like getting your podcast on YouTube, this is the the best way to do it. Is go to the Modern Rogue channel and and listen to the World's Greatest Con episodes. But the the visual of it is this awesome old reel to reel player. What you don't realize is that uh, it is masked out on the edges because uh, uh, the ghost hand. Also, the, you you can see the ghost in the reflection of the TV as he walks into frame and then leans over. <laughs> yeah, right. and I don't even know what he's doing. So with he, the here's what reels. I think happens: is uh, there's only 45 minutes of reel on there, and meanwhile, it's an hour plus presentation. Mm -hmm. So at some point he had to rewind it or whatever, do a cut. And um, I, I, I made it pretty clear that it's like time is of the essence. And if you have to push something that is not the quality you want, it's better that it be on time. And uh, he, he, he respected that uh, and, and warned me that this was happening. Uh, because what, when you put the reels back on there, if you don't seat them correctly, it, it doesn't count the timer up. So that's him trying to reseat the reel gotcha. while it's going. But my favorite part was only after the fact, when I rewatched it, did I realize that he was apparently so disgusted with his, <laughs> with this product that he refused to put his actual name. Instead of John Rael, he put John Smithy Rael. <laughs> it's amazing. He Alan, Alan Smithy himself on it. Exactly. Look that one up kids. Uh, <laughs> I think more of that shit. <laughs> yeah, right? Give I people a more. reason? <laughs> no, yeah. I, John should literally just be sitting in the background and fucking around and doing shit. <laughs> like, like he should he should be moving his hands in and out of the frame. Like, like fuck it. What, like, you know, it doesn't need to be pristine. What, was it Corey or Bryce that was saying, like, people were convinced there was a code in there counting the number of taps? Corey says he can't they, they, believe how many yeah. people noticed. Corey, yeah. Wow. Uh, anyway, thank you very much, Alan Smithy. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, no, more, more, John, more. Yep. yep. Uh, uh, how are you feeling? World's greatest con launch, dude. It's it's so close. I can't I can't see it. You know what I mean? Like like uh, I'm just too in it right now. But but uh, uh, from what you've told me, the numbers are biggest numbers. Be big. That's good. Yep. I did I did radio yesterday. That was fun. You did. I did. You did. You did a uh, 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 queer radio. Yeah, Ch something Q Q channel Q. Yes, on like a hundred affiliates, uh, uh, thirty-five plus, I believe. But but yeah, in all the major markets, all, all the markets of, that matter. A lot, lot of folks. Yeah, we, we we talked about it. You did. Yeah. Uh, 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 shout out. Do you remember the show? Let's go there. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Let's go there. The show. Big shout out to them. Uh, and then, of course, you were on. You are not so. You were not so smart. I right. did uh, the morning stream today. Got uh, got some secret stuff coming up. We got. Yeah, we are. We're not. We're not we're willing not, to say. Yeah, we can't. Well, we're going out to. We we, we are going to go to Vegas for some we are reason. Go to Vegas. We're going to do ICS. We're going to go. We're going to go gamble. Going to go gamble in Vegas. We will go do ICS. Right. Yeah. Can we? We can say that we're going to yes. do ICS. Of course. Because yeah. we didn't. Apparently, they were pissed off that we didn't do ICS for season one. Oh. I think we kept thinking like, oh, we could. So do it apparently, there is a beef flavored ice cream, <laughs> and it's not available in soft serve. Some of that pork. Some of that pork ice. So then I've, I'm, I've tasted some pork salt in here. Yeah. All right. Mm. Pork salt, 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 pork. No, I yeah. no, no, it's better. Pork salt. It, oh, it works yeah, better. Yeah, All right. yeah. It, it, more like pork salt. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's good. All right. Uh, uh, is that all the topics? We got one more. One more. Heaton writes in again. Oh, God damn it. This baritone motherfucker. Bryce, Bryce, could you bring it? I'm up not saying oh, yes. she's a gold digger, <laughs> but she ain't messing. <laughs> oh, but she does spend much like our federal government. You know, George Washington once said. <laughs> what did he say? He said, I'm great. I remember that. <laughs> that was good stuff. All right. Uh, so we, uh, we got another email from uh, Andrew Heaton. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fearless Free for the chat. <laughs> Just goes, Keith David is black? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that hit me so hard. That's really funny. So we got a a, 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 a new letter from Andrew Heaton. Uh, Brett, do you mind? Are you able to see this here? I can see it. I can make it a little bigger if that helps. Thank you. There you go. How's that? Yes. Great. <laughs> it's like it's bad when it's one line at a time, but that's <laughs> fine. 
Uh, dear Great Nighters, one month ago, I came on your fine program and read a story for my new book, Inappropriately Human, 21 Short Stories. Afterwards, many of you requested that I make it available as an audiobook. For example, Bryce wrote me the following. Dear Heaton, I would love to read your book, but I had a bad experience in, in middle school <laughs> and now reuse... Uh, and now refuse to read things on principle. Can you please, please produce it as an audiobook? Like like on a cassette tape or something. What the fuck, Heaton? Why would you represent Bryce that way? That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked up. That's fucked now, up, my guy. I'm not sure why Bryce is still listening to audiobooks on cassette tape, but it did get me thinking. Maybe I should make this available on Audible. Then Justin Robert Young emailed me. He said Hey, <laughs> I would love to hear you read your own book as a work of audio fiction, but really, really loud, unlike my voice, like really, really loud, as high as the volume can possibly go. Please narrate your book and then publish it <laughs> on the maximum possible volume. I didn't get tuned until past midnight, man. <laughs> now, I tried to explain to you. I'm, I'm just that cataloging that... everybody who's going to get it. <laughs> I'm just cataloging everybody who gets no fucking mercy. <laughs> I, tried... <laughs> I tried explaining to Justin that he can just adjust the volume in his car whenever he likes. <laughs> but he still struggles to get on top of that concept. But then... Brian Brushwood mailed me with a self-addressed stamp envelope <laughs> with the note reading, Hey, Heaton, can you please record your, you know, your new book onto this eight-track cassette? I mean, <laughs> I know most people listen to music on CDs now, but I'm a purist, and... Uh, the bass sounds more resonant on an 8-track. Kisses, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> now, I have told Brian that my name is Heaton, not Keaton. Oh, man, and I screwed that up. <laughs> Multiple times. <laughs> and also explained that uh, he's, not, he's confusing purist preferences for vinyl records, <laughs> not 8-tracks. And that no single eight track could possibly hold my seven hour audiobook, Inappropriately Human, 21 short stories, which, as I said, is seven hours long. Anyway, I've heard the demands of the people of Great Night, and I have made Inappropriately Human an audiobook. You can download and listen to it on audible.com or Amazon right now. Also, uh, probably iTunes. So if you want to hear seven hours of high-quality artisanal short stories, which are funny and or science fiction, please go to Audible and buy a copy of Inappropriately Human. Sincerely, Andrew Heaton, Esquire. Uh, scroll up the last bit. I can't. Ah, uh, there we go. Dictated, not read. God damn it. P.S. Justin totally killed the guy in the 90s. All right, all right, all right. Wait, hold on. He Seven hours? Seven hours. How the fuck is that possible? That book isn't that long. 22 short stories, each one 15 minutes long. Yeah, his reading was like 20, 15, 20 minutes when he was on. Oh, uh, I guess, yeah. I yeah. guess he's very deliberate. Well, you can fix that like my buddy Doug does, where he just sets it to one and a half. Because aren't like... like, like, like Full ass books, <laughs> like on Audible, are like full ass books. Yeah, are like five hours, like five, six, seven hours, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he, it's also a book. Well, I know, but it's a short story. <laughs> Do you think he's padding it out, or what is the conspiracy you're trying to? Look, no, you, I, you guys I, I, are I, all I, walking I, past the important part, which is why doesn't he make fun of Brett's voice? Ah, you just trying to that's that's hair. I shaved my head. Yeah, that's, that's right. what it was. I shaved my okay. head. <clears throat> that's right. Uh. <laughs> R.I.P. Andrew Heaton. Yeah, it's too bad he died. <laughs> <laughs> For the maybe, maybe. Is it because you killed him? No, 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 no. Like it, that it, guy it, in the yeah, it, it, As it, you it, know, it, it's mostly so I could be, read his eulogy uh, for seven hours. <laughs> uh, 
As you know, we've had a long-standing claim that uh, he's been dead for years, and week after week, we challenge him to prove that he's alive. That he's alive. Simply by showing up on the show. Yeah. And we are now on week two of uh, no evidence. <laughs> R.I.P. Teach the controversy. In fact, I'll tell you what, uh, 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 we're very bad at this, but Bryce, if you could make it a priority to just download a a bell, like a like an Undertaker bell, uh, 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 so we can just ring it every week that Heaton's not on the show. Because he's going to be there. We go. There it is. So every every week we're gonna have to toll the bell because Heaton's dead. This is our second week though, so we have to. Oh, can we toll it again? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Where, what do you associate more with that, the Undertaker or Taco Bell? Uh, uh I, I <laughs> yes. To, to be honest, that owl, that high ass owl. That high owl. That, yeah. That's what you think of. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, Brian, if people want to get more of this show, where are going to do Oh, my goodness. The only question, the question is not how to get more. The question is how much more. There's a controversy brewing. There's, yeah, there's a fight. That's right. There's a fight. fight. And you there's can join the, fight. the fight, join the fight at patreon.com slash great night, yeah. where the greats shall fight for the rights of the night. And we can argue whether or not you are getting one extra episode per week or four, at least four, maybe five per month by contributing and keeping us loud, live and independent at patreon.com slash great night. Put that on the banner. Get four or five <laughs> extra bonus episodes. Yeah. A month. Vote, uh, vote with your bucks, at people up to five a month. That's, that's the very simple proposition. One you every, say, five every episodes a month up extra. to extra. up to. Yeah. Wait, 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 we ain't going to overdo it once. I can't make that promise. <laughs> no, it's not us. It's the calendar. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what are these days? You don't know about the calendar? I, one of these days, one of us take is going to wake take up. it up with, with Gregor. With a, <laughs> with a, with a, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Understand, when I say deep cut, it's the deepest cut. <laughs> it's as far back as the calendar goes. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. Get your own RSS feed. Keep us in business. Exactly. Bryce, we got a game. Uh, we do have a game. It's time for us to bring back one of our favorite games, one of our longer running games, and it's been a while since we've done it. Been a while. It's been a while. Been a while. Uh, but it is, of course, our favorite. A new yeah. Is that a Kanye song? I rather like. <laughs> I don't think I've thing. ever heard Kanye. Uh. Uh, this is the news that six. This is a uh, quiz show about the news and trivia that is almost about the news. So thank you for joining us. Welcome back, everybody. Ready? Hey, man. Uh, we also, have... I think you would know All's Fall, uh, All Falls Down if I played it. Probably. I'd probably recognize the music. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got six topics for you, six topics that represent six different news stories of the day. Uh, the topics are Just a Little Worm, Prime Apogee, Dare to Devil, Just Walk Out, Subby Dubby, and Starlight Shine, Hee Hee. Uh, you guys will take turns switching topics, and I'm going to ask you a question about uh, one of these news stories. Brian, uh, oh, uh, Brett, you could do you mind keeping score for me? I will not mind at all. Thank you very much. Brian, you have your first choice of topics today. Dude, it's got to be Starlight Shine. Hee hee. You're going to go Starlight Shine. Hee hee. Right, so a few weeks back, the Coca-Cola company announced the creation of the Coca-Cola Creations brand, making strange new beverage flavors like their first creation here, Coca-Cola Starlight, uh, described as created with the vision that in a world of infinite possibilities, another kind of Coca-Cola, another way of connecting with each other might exist. The company will team up with pop singer Ava Max to promote the flavor. Question. Uh, who the fuck is that? Uh, that's the, um, what's that song that Kate Raff is, uh, obsessed with? It's, she's the girl who sings that song. Is the, the, the Sweet But Psycho? Yeah, 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 Sweet But Psycho. Oh. Yeah, I know, right. This is the Coca-Cola company. Like, it just working with like somebody who Gaga. probably made Pepsi Max. Uh, no, no, well, no, no, she's Ava Max. She's <laughs> that's just... the whole unrelated Max. Mm. Then I'm gonna do it with Max Hedrum mm. or Max Kellerman. They all, they all sound the same Max, to me. Uh, Maxim... Magazine. <laughs> okay. Max Million, the Max. robot from Disney's The Black Hole movie. Exactly. 1977. Not that Max. Not uh, uh, Max or Max. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know what? I got nothing. <laughs> I'm out too. Mac, Maxwell, it. Jacob Friedman. Maxwell House. Yep. <laughs> Both the 
Was I think Wells, Max was that, was, that, was that the coffee or the music company? Uh, 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 there's a music. There, I was there's thinking of the coffee. Columbia yeah. House. Columbia the, House. Yeah, like five. <laughs> they made for terrible. They made cocaine and smuggled Columbia it. Columbia House yeah. made cocaine. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that was in one of the CDs you got for a penny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have fucking gone with it. Fuck. CD stood for I cocaine deposit. That's that's what happens when you get the eleventh album. That's. Co- you get the 10 for free and then the 11th and then you get cocaine. Yeah, cocaine. Also, uh, so I guess I guess it's not enough for there to be a Marvel Cinematic Universe now there has to be a Coca-Cola Cinematic Universe. Uh, 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 Look, they just, they just now know that they don't have to if they want to introduce a new thing they don't have to either introduce a totally new brand. They're just going to do a It's a creation. Yeah. It's mm. just a creation. Yeah, it's like a pop-up shop. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's like like a, like a, like a BTS <sighs> meal at, at at McDonald's. Uh, okay. I have a question for. <laughs> we're doing a game. There's a question here. What is it about the BTS meal at McDonald's? Yeah, dude. Hashtag ha- been, hack McDonald's. Because I've been paid by tried, either yeah, BTS right. or McDonald's to answer all your questions. <laughs> I have owned and had destroyed more than zero BTS McDonald's bags. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, um, question: uh, Which of these options is not in the list of brightest stars top ten? So Wikipedia has a list of the brightest stars. Which of the four of these is not in the top ten of that list? Is it? So we're we're just gonna walk right past the problem na- problematic nature of the name Starlight, the fact that that was the original title of uh, Michael Jackson's thriller, and that he molested I mean, children. Yes, shouldn't have cut to myself yes, on that. Yes, yes, we are gonna walk gonna... right by yep, that. In fact, in, fact, in fact, in fact, we're gonna moonwalk right by. <laughs> <laughs> Celestial humor, I like it. Yeah, it's funny. Okay. I, made, I made that the reference for the topic, hoping that we wouldn't go back to that. That's fine. All right, so That's the four fine. options are Vega. When did you get the BTS meal, though? Like, was it like early in the run, or was it in the middle of it? I didn't it? even get the meal. I just went to McDonald's during that time, and they gave me a bag. Really? <laughs> and then did they so, give you two pieces of tuna? <laughs> Is it? Are you, they, are, uh, Bryce? I don't want to be indelicate, but are you that poor, or like? <laughs> so they gave me the bag with whatever I ate, and then. I had someone come over to my house to watch marbles. We were doing a marbles race one yeah. day and they were writing me notes and they were looking for paper yeah. and they found the folded up BTS bag on my coffee table. And Which is weird that you saved it. It's, it was, it is worth like $50. It's worth something. Anyway, he ripped it up so he could send me marbles. It's a thousand nickels. Yeah. You want to know what? Uh, uh, I really wish that we just would have moved on to the question. That's right. That was that was a waste of time. Yeah. Uh, that here, was a real waste. That was a dead air. That was a pothole. That's right. Which of these options are not on the light list of brightest stars top ten? Is it Vega, Antares, Sirius, or Rigel? You will both pick an answer. Brian, we're gonna start with you. Okay. Um, I, I'm gonna eliminate Rigel because I'm pretty sure it's pretty bright. I'm gonna el- eliminate Vega because it's so bright that it was the subject of the movie Contact. Sirius is so bright, it's the dog star. Antares. Huh. Pretty sus. Antares. Brian's picking Antares. Justin? Vega. Justin's going to pick Vega. All right, your answer is... The answer is... (laughs) Antares! It's the... Oh! It is the 15th... Uh, ranked brightest star at 550 light years away. Mm. The rest of them are in the top. Mm. Well, never mind. There's this. All, all I want to do is a bunch of like bullshit star talk. Talking to <laughs> us now, and everybody knows that stars are here to stay. That's right. All right. Were, were we not supposed to see something just then? Oh, that was just another. That question. was the next question. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So, uh, Justin, you are now able to pick a topic for us here on News Six. Oh, I'm going to go dare to devil, my guy. He's going to dare to devil here on News 6. And of course, it's the News 6. The catalog of Marvel shows made for Netflix, like Jessica Jones and Daredevil, will return to streaming on Disney Plus in the U.S. on March 16th. This opens up these characters to fit into the broader Marvel TV or film universes. Question. Also part of the announcement was that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. would move to Disney Plus as well on the same day. How many episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were aired? You're both going to guess once. The closest will get the point. We are going to start with Justin. Justin, how many episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. did they make? 
All right. I think this was still at the point before every network TV season was like 13 episodes. So the first season might have gone like 20. So and I'm going to assume that they went for four seasons. So I believe it went 20, 33, 46, 61 episodes. Justin's going to say 61 episodes of the show Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Brian, how many episodes of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were aired? It sounds That sounds like a lot, like too many. But also I believe that we really do live in a cruel, harsh, unloving universe. All I know is that people were trying to talk to me about that show being good for a long time. So multiple people, years, like three, people, three or four years. People kept saying like, no, but it gets good in season 2.7. <sighs> hate to agree it's at that point that they actually are interesting i'm gonna i'm gonna say 83 sadly i'm glad that we can dump on this show now because it came out of the weed and tree <laughs> before you couldn't because it came out of the weed and tree and right now and now, but now it's you like can open season bitch Clack, yeah. clack. all right so justin you said 61 <laughs> episodes of agents of shield brian you said 83 yeah all right the answer that we were looking for is 83 on the nose. Tell me 83 on the nose. 136 God episodes. Damn. What the fuck? How long did that shit run? Seven seasons. Fuck. Did they me ever find running. the shield? I think <laughs> they didn't. Oh. Unfortunately. Uh, that's going to be a point for Brian on Holy that one. shield shit. might be the one that would take them home. <laughs> that's right. Brian, we've got four more topics. 138 episodes. If you're on planet Earth and you have the means to contact them, maybe you can reach the Agents of, of S.H.I.E.L.D. S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Everyone loves them. They're yeah, dancing for you. <laughs> Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Yes. Fighting and punching and squirting and lunching, <laughs> the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Hiding and conniving and, <laughs> and murdering uh, uh, and jiving, <laughs> and agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> Jurassic Park. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Brett, what is the score? The score is Justin's got nothing. That shit. And Brian has two. Mm. Is that, my, my voice is too weak. <laughs> it's just luck. Weak Brian, we've voice. got four more topics here. Just a little worm, prime apogee, just walk out, and subby dubby. Uh, yo, subby dubby. He's going to go with subby dubby here. Subby dubby doodle all day. News six. Yeah. It's the news of six. Today, anime streamer Crunchyroll announced that it would be merging former competitor Funimation's catalog into Crunchyroll. Mm. This follows a buyout of Crunchyroll from Funimation owner Sony and brings almost all English-owned anime uh, under one name. Wow. What's... Uh, what's... Just uh, just keeping my eyes on the prize here. Oh, okay. Too many, too Seeking many. inspiration. What year? Let's go to the back uh, uh, to uh, uh, anime history. In what year did the first feature-length anime film release in japan the uh, all of you will guess both of you guess so what? this ain't the english shit this is this is the source that's right this uh, is the south japan's first the feature length did say subby dubby so I'm... yeah doesn't matter we've seen that uh, he also he has... called it uh, america's ghostiest con or something <laughs> <laughs> this is like a ghost hand yeah no i i yeah. eventually got it yeah like my tuna that was a real dangerous one because the point of that was i hadn't seen the clip Oh, I did uh, not and you realize were, you and you were and you were and we were relying on Brian to remember what what the setup was. Uh, see, that's the first mistake there. There we go. I'm glad uh, we debriefed okay. on that. All right. Uh, what year did Japan's first feature length anime first release? We're looking for a year here. You're both gonna guess closest wins. We're gonna start with Brian since this was your pick. Yeah. Don't look at me, bro. <clears throat> I just do voices for him. I don't know that shit. Sure. It's that's why you will boy. not react at all as I give the real answer of. Mm, Nineteen. Both. Nineteen fifty. It was Astro Boy. 
Brian's going to say 1950. Justin, what about you? I don't even know what the hell counts as anime. Is it just like any cartoon that aired in Japan? Uh, I, I believe it uh, would be any. Uh, yeah, I think it's just kind of any cartoon. The start Like of if fucking Steamboat Willie aired in Japan, it's fucking <laughs> anime? Uh, yeah, yeah. If it came from, I don't know. Japan, Look, uh, uh, like, but don't know. Brett's ass is saying no. But how it's would you enough? define? I mean, it? originally anime was any animation that was created in Japan. Mm. And uh, and it and it and of course the it all moved as it became more global. But really, originally it was stuff that was animated in Japan. So it doesn't. It, it couldn't bear any like resemblance to what we now know as its own kind of like form of of anime and the conventions of anime like it could just be train pulls into station no. but animated in japan if and you're asking anime. whether or not it has achieved its final form no <laughs> no it had not well I, i'm just I, it, it, it is like early like, it's like i i don't we're, we're asking you're asking him stuff about time period stuff well but. i just don't even know what the fuck we're talking about when did anime first release it's yeah. like like when when was the first soda and it's like oh the first bubbled beverage was served in 1801 by yeah. lick spittle dingle flop <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my I god i love know. lick spittle but, if, but, dingle if, flop. but if you're asking like when did coke get invented it's like i don't know in 1930 something uh, we're looking for <laughs> the first piece of anime of the first feature length piece of animation that originated from Japan. Uh, if hopefully that Fuck. gives you hey, whatever. Uh, fucking nineteen. <laughs> Let's uh, play the uh, game. God damn it. Nineteen seventy three. It was uh, uh, Jim uh, has a car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. It was remarkable because the the titular character Jim, Jim. is uh, is a, is a regular salary man. Yeah, uh, but but he's able to um, was it have a car? Well, he has a car. He gets it in the first. That's the inciting incident. Okay, at, at the beginning. <laughs> and, but then he begins his heroic journey. He, well, but first he doesn't want the car. He, he refuses. He the call. refuses the call. Yeah, and then. Uh, <laughs> Somebody steals the car from him. Oh, dear. And then he has to go on a journey. Where he meets a lot of characters. Yeah. Uh, and he meets a lot. And then he meets Steamboat Willie, who stole the car from him. And yeah. he goes to America. And But but then he, he finally gets the car, but he pays a terrible price. He does. Yeah. He, uh, the price uh, being? He merges into the car. <laughs> oh, dear. He becomes one with the car. He loses his... Uh, uh, his corporeal and he, form. And finally, he returns home a very changed man. Very changed man. But then, oh uh, wow! My after credit scene, uh, 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 all of a sudden, he's on a car lot, and uh, uh, Michael Knight walks up <laughs> and goes, "That looks pretty cool." Uh, uh, boom! To be continued. Okay, no, I yeah. remember the voice that. of Michael Knight in there. Were you? Yeah, you did I Michael was. Knight. I was. Nice. Yeah. So uh, there Did we this go. shit's on Crunchyroll? It's going to be on Crunchyroll now. <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. Uh, your guess is Brian said 1950. Justin said 1973. We were looking for... 1945. Whoa! That's a Brian point. Uh, the film Momotaro Sacred Soldiers, which was a World War II propaganda Sailors. Film. Uh, did I say sailors? Uh, no. He said... Soldiers. It's soldiers. sailors, right? Oh, it is sold it is sailors. I missed yeah. that my in my notes. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, don't disrespect the Japanese. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Uh that was a World War Propaganda 2 film from 1945. That's a Brian Point. Uh, propaganda. Did Miyazaki uh, direct that? Uh well, <laughs> well no, it was just Mitsuya's before he retired and then came feel, back on. Feel like I just want to tiptoe on by this one. All right, there oh, you go. The That's propaganda stuff. Uh yeah, we made a lot of propaganda cartoons. Mm -hmm. Oh, back in the day, yeah, we cashed all them yen. You you on? Wong? W oolongs? U oolong tea? Oolong. We drank a lot of oolong. Uchi Wali, Uchi Bang Bang. Uh, Uchi Uchi <laughs> brand tuna roll sushi 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 in it. <laughs> sure. a moose <laughs> okay. what, what's your next category okay we have three more categories here justin it's your pick we've got just a little worm a moose sushi is pretty good we've got just a little worm prime apogee and just walk out justin it's your pick uh just walk out just walk out here on get out Six. 
of course, the news that does six. Yeah. It does. It does. Six. It six, whether you like it or not. Amazon has taken its cashier-free Just Walk Out technology from the Amazon Go convenience stores and integrated it into a Whole Foods for the first time. Customers will arrive and scan a QR code on the Amazon app or scan their handprint, grab their goods, and just walk out the front where the items are billed to their Amazon account. The store uses sensors, cameras, and a bunch of high-tech stuff to track what you pick up and put down and follow where you go. You That's not that? creepy at all. Yeah. All right, question. How many Whole Foods grocery stores are in the United States? Dude. Mm. You look very confident about this. Oh, yeah. Because it, it's an Amazon. Or an I, mean, I, I don't business. know the exact number, but there yeah. must be at least, I don't know, 50 ways for you to shop there. Just start by scanning your hand. <laughs> Just grab what you want from the front. <laughs> Just get in a booze. Shoosh. Set yourself free. <laughs> I've said this a bunch of times, but one of the funniest jokes I've ever read in my entire life was uh, my buddy, the legend Matt Finley, wrote a column that was 50 more ways to leave your lover. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest one was, sell her into white slavery, Avery. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't do that one, Avery. Oh, no, no. Oh. It's just so, white slavery. It's a very funny phrase. Justin, per the data site Scrape Hero, ugh, how many... <laughs> Sorry, repeat that. Per data given to me from the site Scrape Hero. Oof. I know. How many Whole Foods... Uh, Scrape Hero is a site that you're going to be very, very embarrassed when your last pass auto completes your login. <laughs> if you have to do it in front of people. <laughs> Uh, how many Whole Foods are in the U.S. closest wins? Uh, let's start with Justin, because I believe he picked this one. How many Whole Foods are there? Oh, 420, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, no, smoke them up. <laughs> smoke them up. Uh, <laughs> weed, bro. That's what you do at Whole Foods, man. I wish this Whole Foods sold weed, my man. <laughs> I, hey, I'm the Whole Foods influencer, <laughs> Weed Steve. <laughs> I love smoking weed and going to Whole Foods. Wait, wait, man. I'm glad you're here, Weed Steve. Yeah, what do you do? You want some organic groceries? Well, what how I, about some weed? <laughs> okay, well, I, what I'd love to know is, <laughs> is uh, so <laughs> let's. I'm about it to get you higher. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to go on a road trip, <laughs> and I like to plan my road trip. To hit all the Whole Foods. Yeah, bro. You know why, right? Because. Because I don't like to pay cash for things. I just want to be able to walk out the door. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, bro. All right, so. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, man. Wait, wait, wait. Dude. <laughs> fucking. Here's the thing about you, man. <laughs> fucking A, dude. Right. <laughs> Right, man. I suddenly I fucking love this shit, dude. For real. I feel like you wanna know what? Cause you wanna know what? <laughs> I fucking love it, man. You're dude, bro. Fucking yes. I feel I feel fucking like fucking right. <laughs> right. <laughs> what are we I... talking about? <laughs> 600. Six <laughs> hundred. All right, Brian has said 600. Justin said... Weed Steve is an amazing character. <laughs> That's a reoccurring character. Weed Steve? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Weed oh. Steve is his own spinoff. God, I, def <laughs> I definitely uh, got, got an ab workout. Thank you. <laughs> Weed Steve. <laughs> All right. Brian, you said 600. Yep. Justin said 420. The answer that we were looking for... Is obscured by all them bits. Is... 511 that's Whoa. all right hey real quick weed steve who wins who's closer God damn it <laughs> the earth bro <laughs> <laughs> so, but, 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 but by numbers because one of us said 420 the other one said 600 and the answer was 511 so bro. the numbers winner. are numbers are fucking legit dude numbers <laughs> yes, they are, so are fucking legit they're so legit that you we ever, must rely you ever upon fucking them think about like yes one <laughs> yes right? okay oh Two. we're starting there okay <laughs> right okay but think about it yeah i am i don't think uh i don't think that yeah 
You got to think yeah. about no, it. No, I am. I am. I am. But I'm thinking specifically. You got to think about it. Okay, but like. Uh, One. <laughs> yep. They go. Two. In, they go in order, right? But what comes next? <laughs> <laughs> three, think about it. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 420. Fuck, dude. You're blowing my mind. Which was your guess. Yeah. But the actual answer I was lead Steve who was <laughs> influencer. Was five. I think you have been influenced. Uh five, five eleven. I don't get it. Is how far away from 420? 420. <laughs> God damn it. Four. <laughs> Twenty. Nope. 24. No, stop. Jack Bauer. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> what happened with that fucking mountain lion <laughs> in that season when she was on the mountain yeah, no, yeah, she for was... fucking like four hours? <laughs> yes. 24. Yes. Four hours. It was on for 20 seasons. No, I don't know that it was. Or was it? Okay. <laughs> That's a good point. You got me there, Steve. What were we talking about? <laughs> You're just going to give me the point. All righty. Bias. <laughs> Thank you for giving me that time to do arithmetic. The Brian, Brian wins because... That's me. <laughs> I should have just asked you. Uh, Brian wins. He was only two, uh, two, two points closer, two stores closer than Justin was. So oh, damn. That's a Brian point. Yeah. Weed Steve's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, what's the score? I, mean, I, I, I score. kind of want to go back and revisit this 24 theory, though. Uh, uh, he, no, he'll I mean, really, up. really, Weed Steve wins all the points. <laughs> but in this case, uh, Brian's got faux points. Yep. Justin ain't got no points. What? So, like, 20 times zero is his points. I mean, really, when you're thinking about numbers. Okay, bro, shit. I can't I'm have two of you. That you need to just think about it, man. <laughs> like, wow. Like numbers, right? It's your, it's your turn now. Yeah. Jay, what do you have to say? I'm sorry. I don't want Justin to What's talk about it. I want topic? Prime What's Apogee. Prime Apogee. <laughs> I'm just going to offend your sister here. <laughs> Prime Apogee coming up now on News 6 The News. Today, Amazon's game streaming service Luna is available for public in the U.S. The service offers a la carte and subscriptions to stream games over the internet, kind of like Google Stadia, if you heard about that. It has uh, uh, options for an Ubisoft and a Jackbox subscription, uh, so you could play all of the games for a few bucks a month or something. Uh, it's also got some free rotating games for people in Prime. That's kind of neat. Here's a question for you. Bing. How long is Earth's moon's circumference? <laughs> Damn it. You will, you will both guess once. Please answer in kilometers closest without going over. All right. Uh, that so be Yo, you fucked up now. <laughs> you put this shit in kilometers. This is a Brian. My strength. Brian's going to start with this. I love kilometers. Yeah? Yeah. How many kilos do you love? All of them, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I I'm Coke Ken. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, God damn it. Uh, I work uh, in advertising. Earth is around 22,000 miles uh, diameter. You said cir circum circumference. Circumference. Yeah, circumference right. uh, kilometers. Uh, one sixth the size. Into the sky. Is 6,000 kilometers. Uh, 10K. 10K kilometers. 10,000 kilometers. Final right, answer. 10,000 kilometers. All right. right. Justin, how many kilometers is the Earth's moon's circumference? Nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine <laughs> kilometers. <laughs> Justin is taking a little moon mayhem. <laughs> I like Steve better. <laughs> Weed Steve is dead. He's <laughs> never coming back. He died. Right. For what? It, you can't he inhale died. on the moon, he man. Died. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was the one guy to overdose. <laughs> <laughs> I loved weed too much, man. I'm a ghost now. I blow ghost weed. Ghost weed. I I've rolled a joint with St. Peter. Oh. Is he is he into the herb? <laughs> <laughs> I went up to him, man, and I was like, bro. <laughs> am I dead? I would imagine. St. Peter was like, fuck. <laughs> 
because he was so fucking high. <laughs> well, he was in heaven. Exactly. <laughs> it was a metaphor. <laughs> oh, okay. And I was like, man, shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'd like to apologize Fuck. to all of our listeners for the show tonight. Crap. We're trying our best. Dicks. Yep. <laughs> Balls. Okay. And he was just taint. <laughs> dingle. Dingle fucker. All right. No, 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 no compound. <laughs> no, sorry. Cop calling it. All right. Who's, who's closer? Uh, all right. Uh, the moon is. <laughs> Uh, Brian, you said 10,000. Justin said one less than that. It is 10,921. That's, oh! oh! That's another Brian point. That's right. 10,921. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Brian, you're good at the moon. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, or Matt. Oh, shit. He's here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's your friend. That's true. All right, whose turn is it to right. pick a category? Uh, it's Justin's turn to pick the last category. Brett, what, before we go into the last category here, so we find out how many points it's worth. <laughs> it what is it? Oh, shutout. It's, uh, it's looking like a shutout here. Uh, wow. Brian's got five. Justin, you want empty, bro. Wow. I know. I know. I feel like my soul is empty. Like and I have your no voice fulfillment. <laughs> My voice is empty. This is your moment. Slowly falling apart. This is where you seize Can everything. Can you guys hear my voice falling apart? Or, or, or is that just nope, my nope, nope. Get this man his tuna. Do you hear it, you hear it slowly swear. degrading? Really quiet here. It feels, it feels bad to me. You're good. All right. I probably our last should stop drinking. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, our last topic here is... Probably not a great way to take care of my only way of making money. By stopping drinking? It's just a little word. Oh. All right. Wait, oh. It is tough out there for potato farmers. The potato cyst nematode <laughs> is a pest that can hide in potato soil for years and has decimated potato yields across the world. Researchers from NC State have found that planting potatoes in a pouch made from banana tree paper uh, uh, hampered the nematode growth by 80%, over 80%. The paper absorbs certain chemicals that uh, is in the soil from, from, uh, uh, from the actual plant and that's what the nematodes use to find the potato. So the paper absorbs it, and the ones that do hatch have a harder time of finding the potato, higher yields. This is great. Um, uh, this also means uh, it could reduce the, the need of and the effectiveness of pesticides. Question, true or false? <laughs> a nematode survived the Challenger disaster. Oh. What was that? It was me was realizing that disaster? Bryce forgot to set a point value. It's oh, that's right. Well, it's uh, oh my goodness, it's for six points. Six points. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, crazy. Yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the Challenger disaster. Explain it to all the children uh, watching. <laughs> a lot of children that watch our show and they rely on us for knowledge. Uh, wait, what? was Mike? Tyson, the champion, when he took on Evander Holyfield? No. No. I believe he'll, he'll, he was, he'll was the champion. challenger. Indeed. How did it go? He bit his ear. I'd call that a disaster. So it was the Tyson Holyfield fight, is what we refer to when we say the challenger disaster? Yes, children. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Did a nematode survive this one on one fisticuffs battle? I believe it death. did. I did believe it, it did. did. Brian is going to say true. I say it did. Uh, Justin. This is your chance. Are you going to say true or false? <laughs> you I <could> believe <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Mike Tyson ate it. Which, by the way, how would, like, what scientist would be all like, I see no nematodes. <laughs> I'm going to declare confidently that not a single nematode has survived <laughs> this, survived this yeah. fight. Michael Buffer. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> just like... <laughs> After having discovered that there are no nematodes, <laughs> we declare this a disaster. <laughs> Let's get Lock ready it in, to Jan disaster. <laughs> Lock it in, Daniel. All right. Justin said false. Brian said true. Uh, Brian, I'm going to take your answer and drop it into the answer hole here. Your Inappropriate. answer. Inappropriate. 
More like Nima Chode. Inappropriate. We're all going to be thinking it. <laughs> We're all going to be thinking it the whole time. Your answer of mm. true is... So inappropriate. I had to drop it in the answer. So inappropriate. Correct. Uh, the nematodes survived the Columbia disaster. Wow. God damn. Wait, so you're telling me that they did survive a Columbia disaster, but you can say for a fact they didn't survive the Challenger disaster? Yeah. Yes. In fact, nematodes are probably the only uh, the only life form who have survived an unprotected atmospheric descent to Earth's surface. Really? <laughs> you sure that's why? <laughs> You're sure that's why? <laughs> didn't even get up into space. All them nematodes didn't have to re-enter. But they, they but did. They did re-enter. On Columbia but, House, but they which is they five never, They never, all right, fine. <laughs> Enjoy your victory. There you and we, Steve. Yeah. He did it! Congratulations. Called the right at the end squid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's the squid game. Yeah, that's my squid game. That's right. Uh, thank Fucking you. sucking shit until the final thing and then squidding it up. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Thank you. To, uh, 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 thank you to all of our listeners for maybe playing along. Uh, send an email uh, with... Uh, uh, <laughs> please send us an email to greatnightpod. Send us an email. email. <laughs> Send us a self-addressed stamped envelope. <laughs> Doing great. Uh, great hey, Bryce, at gmail.com. Speaking of emails that people send in, sometimes people send us late night emails. Uh, that's right. They do. They do, right? They do. They do, in fact, do that. Shortly after they've gotten their two pieces of chewed. I think this is the one I use. It's been so long since we've done this. Ah, it's time for some high thoughts. Too bad Weed Steve died. He's dead. He did. Weed Steve died. Uh, Brett has got the uh, has got the high thoughts in the email. Ooh. Yep. There's uh, yes, a, a, a great night pod at gmail.com is where you can send things like <laughs> high thoughts Wait. and questions. Oh my goodness, is, is, it, this? is it is it what I think I'm hearing? Dude, I wasn't dead. What? What? I was just really high. Oh yeah, so 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 you didn't go to the pearly gates. I am, dude. Where were fuck. you, dude? I'm so glad you brought that up. Yeah. Fuck. Okay, so you <laughs> thought you were dead. Fuck. So, all right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Fucking here's where it starts. Okay. Right? All right. That's where so, it starts. So, so, yeah. I'm born. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. Fucked up, right? No. Next thing you know, I'm living. Yep. I think I die. Yep. Didn't die. But you didn't. <laughs> Shit's fucking crazy. <laughs> all right, Brett. Brett. <laughs> Is it? Can we start with Cappy? The stars. They're, yeah, they're stars. There's a few of them there. All right. From four days ago. Oh, and uh, they're anonymous. You weren't like don't at say, a strip club or something um, and got confused? Nah, man. Dude, fucking... I don't even know, like, why. <laughs> you don't even know why? I don't what, even why. know why, though. Be because... Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right. Hey, hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you sleep with two pillows, I do. The two pillow is using the bottom pillow as a pillow. Wait, Dude, when do you use it as a bed? For real. For real. No, man, you have two pillows, right? Yeah. So you got one pillow baseline. Right. Right. But Second pillow top line yeah it's making its own little business chart and meanwhile the whole time you're laying on both of them but the middle pillow is there's a middle pillow on now. the top no you are the third pillow wait you're between the, the block dude yeah. <laughs> okay all right all right wait, wait, no, wait, no 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 okay, no okay. dude bro yes <laughs> yes fucking it's so clear yes all right bottom pillow yeah Second pillow. Yep. You. Yep. Now you might be thinking, how many pillows are here? How many I, you, right now? How many pillows well, would you say right two, there? Two, because that's what we. Yes. But we're God's pillow. God. Three pillows. God. God rests his. Three pillows. Celestial head of upon each other. our bodies. Isn't that fucked up. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Yeah. You, you know, when a pregnant woman. Oh, Go swimming. 
She becomes a human submarine, man. And she's trite. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> Harsh critic. They're not all good. Steve. They're not okay, all, all right, good, all right, man. All right. Look, I'm weed Steve. I'm not bad joke fluffer. <laughs> all right. All right. All I know. Who is does the he next... sound like? Wait, let's get a baby. Read, read that one again. Read that one again. <laughs> read that one again. <laughs> Well, it's funny because the one right after that. Sure. We're Bustin bringing in Bad Joe the Fluffer. Yeah, the, the other one just says Bustin Robert Young. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Be careful. You lose your voice, man. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's good. I'm just. Hey. That's good. Hey, man. That's I'm just good. reading. I was, I was a little worried for a second, but you pulled it out. It was good. It was it. Do you want me to go back to the other one? No, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. The only way. Yeah, there might be one more in there, Brent. What do you want? Weed, Steve, or the bad joke fluffer? Who do you You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna hear it first. I'm gonna flip a coin, and we're gonna get one of the other. No, you just make the call. You just yeah. You 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 just you you are the playmaker. Okay. Okay. Why this one doesn't make any sense, man? I have a feeling I know who is. Weed, Steve is warming up in the bowl bag. Yeah. Hey, if I was a cleaner, I'd cover my stuff in fake fluffy fur. Yeah, I'm going to need weed Steve on this one. <laughs> Say that shit again. <laughs> if I, will you listen? Will you listen? Fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Come on, bro. It's really go. hard. Go. go, bro. If I was a cleaner. A cleaner. I'd cover my stuff in fake fluffy fur. If I was a Kleenex, a cleaner, no, man, like you're a not house listening. Cleaner. If I was a clean a cleaner, a cleaner, a, cleaner. a, a cleaner who cleans, what? Like Kenny Omega? Sure. No, say it again. If I, <laughs> if I uh, like, if, fifteen people are laughing really hard. If <laughs> I <laughs> was a cleaner, a cleaner, yeah, yeah, I would cover my stuff in fake fluffy fur. What? Right? You get it? I right. I, uh, I I think I think he's saying that like uh So if he was a cleaner. <laughs> no, I don't need it repeated. I he swear. Was a clean, all okay, right. no, I I think he's saying like, like if, honestly, bro, you ever fucking think though? <laughs> you ever fucking think though? Hold on. Yes. Clean. <laughs> no, the natural, the oh, natural so energy. good, the so good. Energy hey. of weed <laughs> the antidote is here. Right Yay, I'm melting! <laughs> I'm <laughs> melting. Uh, thank you to everyone. Oh wait, do you have another? One more. What? Hey, oh, oh. Jesus Christ! Hey, you guys, you guys know that song, "Detachable Penis"? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a popular song for a while, like in the '80s. <clears throat> But technically, is that, is that but technically note? Yeah. aren't all penises detachable? If you try hard enough. I yeah. mean, am yeah. I right, Lorena Bobbitt? Whoa! Hey oh, topical humor, Steve here. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah, <laughs> no, this is me. No, I, I <laughs> Top, topical humor, uh, 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 Lewis. Uh, <laughs> Hey, uh, you know, uh, what's up with the riots? <laughs> okay, all right, all what's right. Up? I mean, Brett, no, Brett, I what, know. Learn, what hey, did we learn, hey, Brett? I, I think that something's going on with this Mark Furman. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's something going Brett. on. What do we learn? Uh, what do we learn? Oh, what do we learn? We learned that, uh, uh, that, uh, that Bustin Robert Young <laughs> does a Bustin's really good, nuts, my good, man. good, uh, Weed Steve. Yeah. Well, and Steve that will just, become a reoccurring character. Oh, well, he's dead. We've, uh, <laughs> we've learned that, that Bryce, uh, wears a beautiful shirt and we're so proud of him. <laughs> yes, and we're And appropriately yeah. zipped. Oh, yeah, pom pom. Oh. Yeah. That's right. right. Trust, trust us. It's only pumped by circumstance. Exactly. We've learned. We've learned that uh, that uh, uh, Brian should never ever go for sushi because that tuna is just too long. It's too slow. Yeah, world's slowest. Yeah, but it wasn't long. It was fatty. It, took it was long. good. It was good. It was Tuna. delish. It was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we he, had, ate, we, he ate it in 0.5 <laughs> seconds. Sure. <laughs> uh, 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 we learned that we have uh, local fans who who lurk and we love them. We did. We yeah, love yeah, them. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Uchi. 
And uh, oh, World's Greatest Con, available now. Heck yeah, dude. Uh, Get on that RSS feed. Safe to say, the next episode is your favorite. Yep. Coming up, coming up next week, my favorite episode. Episode two. Brian's favorite episode. Shine on, you crazy diamonds. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's been like a great night, man. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>